Hello everybody, welcome to this week's Whip and Chat. I finished Arya Stark, like I said last week, it was the last time you saw Arya. And she's done, but I did run out of five colors, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, I've been in contact with the Sophie's Home Beauty official store and they are going to send me the missing grills. So that was a relief. And I was supposed to start on, um, let's see if you can see. No, I'm out of focus. Well, uh, I was supposed to start Victoria's Moon um uh, today but i have this um diamond painting hanging over me so this is the first like big kit i actually call this my first diamond painting but it's not true it's my second it's my first square and It ended up that after I've done half of the painting, I got fed up with it because the drills were horrific. Yeah. So I contacted the, the seller and told her, you know what? This is, I've paid a lot of money for the kit. I expect better quality. And she said, fine, I will send you uh, new drills of the one color, which I was like having, I have 20 bags of that. And I think the new drills are okay. But then I noticed, you know, after working on Aria Stark for months, how terrible the rest of the drills are and you know I have popping drills everywhere and I'm I'm really debating with myself if I should continue with this painting at all um, yeah I don't know I, I seriously don't know what to do and, you know, this is just really pissing me off to do this kind of diamond painting. Um, but at the same time, I have like no finishes because uh, of bad drills or missing drills or yeah, whatever. So it feels like I've been diamond painting forever, but I have no post review to make. And considering that this is, this is a 50 by 70, so it's not huge, but it's not small either. But since I've done more than half, I feel like I should be able to finish it quite fast. But I can't make up my mind if I should just fight through the, the popping drills or just throw it away. Because since they're popping everywhere I have to seal it and that means I need to buy these um, either uh, Mod Podge or was it uh, Tombow or Deco Arts seal it, sealer, I don't know what it is, yeah. And of course we don't have it in Sweden so I need to order it from Amazon and it's gonna cost me quite a bit. And I can't really afford that the coming month. And then 
after November, it's Christmas, and we all know Christmas means expenses. So, yeah. I feel like I'm a, a little bit in a bad mood. I, I, I get angry when I work with stuff like this because I've said it before, we pay. I mean, this is not a cheap kit. I paid 40 bucks for this kit. And I expect to be able to finish, finish it without, you know, having stuff falling out of itself. And yeah. So I was off work today and my plan was to yeah, make this whipping shed and start the curious moon and you know, have a shed while I was home alone. But I'm kind of burnt out after Arya Stark, the big one, and just not succeeding with the drill quality. So I actually didn't feel like diamond painting what at all. And that scares me a little bit. Um, so I guess I need something smaller and more fun and easier to do. But I feel like a failure if I throw this one away, if I don't finish it. So, if you're watching, please give me your opinion. What should I do? Help me out here. Make a choice. Should I throw it and just start my Victoria's Moon? Which I want to start. I'm really looking forward to that, actually. Um, it's a round drill and it's awesome colors. It's a lion. I'm very positive. Um, it was given to me for the review, like so many other YouTubers. So I'm very excited, you know, even if if it happens to be a bad experience, I'm still looking forward to get my own experience of them because it's been so mixed. Some are happy, some are not. So, yeah. So, um, actually, I didn't make a weekly list of what's been going on, but I made a list of stuff I wanted to talk about. And the first thing on my list is the DPathon, Diapathon, I don't know how you pronounce it. It was such a great time, really. Um, it's so awesome of all of you guys, all of the creators who, you know, uh, streamed, uh, like was an hour to one and a half and some did multiple multiples or double up. I don't know, uh, because of some technical issues for some people and Maybe some had to cancel for personal reasons, if I understand it all correctly. And the people behind all this who has been organizing the whole thing, it's so very much appreciated. I'm sure all the new YouTubers like me, who don't have that many uh, followers, really appreciated um, getting that attention and getting new subscribers. It was really awesome. And me as a viewer, um, yeah, I'm also a creator, but uh, I, I haven't figured out yet how to stream. 
and which yeah i i just don't understand the the information i don't know how to do it um but as a viewer i really appreciated it as well it was so nice to you know get in contact with some new people and i have plenty of new channels to watch and follow i had a hard time before to catch up on all videos but so i won't be able to do that but at least i have a greater variety and i sh i really appreciate that and you know there's always some um youtubers that we like more than others we're di we're all different um so yeah i'm i'm really 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 happy it was great fun um and me too i got uh quite a few new subscribers too and thanks a lot i really appreciate uh that all of you uh want to subscribe and i promise i'm gonna work hard to uh put up videos um and i hope you're gonna enjoy all of my hobbies yeah. and yeah I even got a question about my YouTube name um, my 144 <laughs> hobbies I've noticed that quite a few people ask about that so I made a small short video answering that question so make sure to take a look at that so yeah and since i started activating my uh channel whoops with uh like putting out more unboxings and creative stuff i've i think i've got well, to me, it's a lot of people, new subscribers, and that's so, it's great, it's fun. Um, and I just, I just want to throw out a big thank you and let you know that I really appreciate it. And the next Diapathon or DPathon is in the end of January next year and you can already uh, sign up for that or I think you're sending in some interest form and yeah that would be fun you know um, but again as I said I <laughs> I don't know how to to live stream I just don't get it and yeah I was trying today to make some test runs but no it's not working like I do want it to and I noticed that if you're going to stream from like your mobile connected to YouTube, you need to have a thousand subscribers. So that sucks because that's how I plan to do it anyway. So I don't know how. And it's a little bit frustrating actually. Uh, and it's not that, you know, I want to send a whole bunch of live videos. It's not that. It's uh, just that, like, for example, my whip and chat where I, like, make... It's, it's kind of a vlog or something. I talk about the week that has passed and with the one that's coming. It would be nice to be able to to stream that or yeah, send it live because then I wouldn't need to spend the time 
editing the video. And yes, I could just throw up the recorded uh, video, but it you still had to have to process it and upload it and stuff, you know. So, nah. Oops. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. <clears throat> anyway, I had a great time. Uh, Saturday, I watched, like, in the evening. I think it started a bit late for me. And then I had it going all day, Sunday. I was working Sunday from home, but I could, you know, have it on the side, listening and commenting from time to time. So that was, that was really nice. But boring or sad thing was that the whole evening you know I felt like really inspired and this is awesome I need to figure out how to send it live and become a part of this community or become more active on the channels and stuff <clears throat> and then I get a comment on YouTube I knew it was going to come sooner or later but it's like it's not that I have that many videos and I'm still kind of new at this and it was not a very nice comment and yeah it <clears throat> it made me sad it mean it um yeah it made me feel like why why am I even putting myself out there why do people even you know why don't you just leave the video if you don't like it I mean why even you know use your energy on it so now that person gives me better energy and yeah it just sucks and then I get angry with myself because then I'm like well if you can't take that one bad comment it's gonna come plenty then maybe you shouldn't do YouTubes <laughs> at all yeah so but maybe it's because I'm um, still in that place I just yeah I don't know I just wish it didn't end like that so today yeah I didn't diamond paint until now in the evening what am I doing I'm doing W uh, I just went over to my watercolors and just fooled around. And I wanted to make a video of that, of course. Because um, I was trying out my new stamp and the swatching. Uh, yeah, I bought a swatching stamp from Wayful, Waffle Flowers. And I haven't found any video on it on YouTube, so... I wanted to like share it as a beginner figuring it out how to use the stamp and you know you're gonna fill the information in on the stamp with yeah the information about the color and yeah it's Monday right so it's in the middle of the day and they decide to start cleaning up uh, at the like, is it called courtyard, backyard? Yeah, we have some people who come, they, they work around the buildings where I live. It's like apartments, buildings. 
and they used this machine to blow away the leaves that has fallen down from the trees <laughs> and our bedroom's window is like always open well not always but it was open today because it's not so cold outside and the sound of that machine just yeah I had to cut out some of the video because that sound just took over and on top of it my dog Maya I don't know she has some wild dreams and you know she's making all kinds of noises when she sleeps and she's starting too and you can hear that as well on the video and I'm like why why <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. This is a sign for sure. Yeah. But I guess I'm a bit stubborn as well. So yeah. And that's why I guess I'm still working up on this God forsaken diamond painting. But it was uh, it was nice to play with the watercolors. I'm such a noob, but uh, you know, I'm such a noob. But it's fun, and the best thing about it are these. I finally have them. They're my. They are my black velvet. No, they're my silver brush black velvets. They're so beautiful. They're so nice. And I feel like a kid on Christmas. Um, yeah, I couldn't buy just one. I had to buy most of them. Yeah, I got some nice stuff from England and I'm so happy that I found this store so yeah I was playing with that anyway W there's a W. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but this is her face. That's her nose and I guess her eyes here. That's her cheek. Yeah. I just want to, I guess, I just want to start something new. I'm also trying to upload, yeah, I'm trying to upload that um, watercolor video with all the noise behind in the background. I guess I shouldn't be uploading it at all, but... You know, since it was the first time I was stamping and, you know, figuring that out, you know, you can't do the first time again. Jesus, I need to get on with my list. If I've already rambled on for 25 minutes. Yeah. Um... Starting, spending, why, why, no, 
Floss tube. Yes, floss tube. I found out something amazing. I've switched my, uh, what do you call that? I, d I had an iPad and I got an Android pad. Yeah. And the thing is, I have all my heaven and earth cross stitch patterns on the iPad but I saved it on iCloud. So when I was figuring out how to transfer the patterns over to the new surf pad, I found out that they have just released, I don't know if it's just now, but since the last time I was stitching, which was this spring, they have released a new app for Androids. They haven't released it for Apple yet. And oh my God, oh my freaking God. It's, it's an app where you have all the functions. How can I explain it? Before I used two um, apps, two programs. One where I had the pattern uh, for highlighting the stitches I had made. And then I used Easy PDF for um, searching uh, the symbols in the pattern. So I had those two programs open at the same time and worked in between them all the time. And that worked fine. Uh, easy, uh, easy PDF uh, did crash every now and then, but it worked, it worked. But this new app, if I have understand it correctly, I've looked just a little bit at it. You have all the functions in it. I mean, you download the pattern into the app and you have all, all the pattern, all the pages comes up, like they're white, so you can't really see it from, from the start. But on the right side, you have the whole list with all the symbols right away and the color numbers and everything. And you just press, I want that symbol. And it finds the symbols throughout all the pages right away. And you can just go in and mark them as you go. So easy. So much what I know so many of us have been wanting for so long and I don't know who made this app but they deserve they deserve a hug or a kiss or something oh. and when I found out about that I was like oh my mother god I need to start stitching again and I still have so many diamond paintings and yeah, I need to make my floss tube. That's for sure. I do, I do, I do. And as fast as Inktober is over and done, that is a new video coming up every week. That's a floss tube. And I think that the first video is um, to talk about that app and together as newbies at the app i'm not a newbie on cross stitching but there's always someone new who wants to know but i'm new at that app and i want to find out how you use it yes and i'm so much looking forward to it and yeah i do have one of the heaven and earth uh, designs uh, already on my stretcher bars. So yeah, you just have to grab the needle and start stitching. So yeah, that's, that's the plan. I'm gonna stick to that plan. So I hope you guys uh, like stitching. 
well you don't have to watch the video you don't have to give it a thumbs down either <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm looking forward to that and i just what is the name of the app i'm gonna check right away the app is called pattern keeper pattern keeper it's like it's like what's his name in um ghostbusters the key keeper yeah the pattern keeper cool cool yes oh yes uh, oh and you need the search you don't need it but it makes your life easier if you're like cross country stitching or like me i'm extreme cross touch ugh, extreme cross country stitching yeah <laughs> Yep. So just makes life a little bit easier. So I'm so ready for a round drill. Oh, it would be so nice to just throw it away. This one. What's next? Let's do six tricky because I have the, the diamond painting upside down so the six symbol six becomes nine and nine becomes six so you better think twice here be careful let's see so six thirty seven Did I have anything else to tell you? Yeah, when I contacted um, Sophie's uh, home beauty store they answered very fast told me not to worry and you know they would send me the drills and then they ask the magic question they know they know that if you if they ask you that question you cannot say no <laughs> and what was that question yes the question was do you wish to order another kit? Because then we can send it together with the new drills. How do you say no to that? Huh? Sigh. Sigh. And, you know, I was like, I can't say no because that's rude. And I'm sure they're thinking the same way. She cannot say no because then she thinks she's rude. Because it sounds like they're doing me a favor, which they're not. But it feels like it. Yeah. I need to switch the battery on the camera at the same time. So uh, we don't have Halloween. We have something which is called all saints evening and so we don't go trick-or-treating and all this we usually 
uh, go to the graveyards and pay our respects to our respect to people we have lost and we usually like you know light a candle and put some maybe not flowers it's like um, evergreens I think maybe yeah you you buy that in the store and you put put it like grave decorations yeah and light candles and, and such so that's what we do but uh, as I mentioned before the stores really try to you know introduce Halloween uh, to us and some people and kids yeah, has those parties and go tr trick or treating, but you know it's like maybe one comes and bring the door and and one year somebody came one day and then somebody else came the other day and we we were like, well, <clears throat> if you're gonna go trick or treating, it should be on Halloween, <laughs> and you know maybe we should actually. You know celebrate that day if you know if we're going to be prepared having candy and stuff so but i usually have something at home just in case because i don't want any tricks played on me so you never know with kids these days <laughs> but i like halloween i think it's cool you know with the dressing up and the uh, scary stuff and we have we have this amusement park in a town um, like an hour drive away and they have uh, it's usually closed uh, after summer but at Halloween they open for a week and same thing uh, for Christmas they open about a month I think but for Halloween uh, I've heard they ha they have this uh, zombie run run so you know you have zombies coming hunting you down and <laughs> yeah I don't know I think there's a lot of fun I would like to go there I might go there this year and it's not uh, for everyone they have what do you call that all those skins let's see it's a good thing I have my uh oh my iPad no my Android Android English we want that in English maturity limit maybe you're not allowed to be too young to go to that amusement park at Halloween. Let's do five. <clears throat> and what do I plan? I I usually watch um, Dee Dee Willingham's uh, in Kiwell, I think she's called on YouTube, and every year around. Uh, Halloween she decorates a pumpkin with mixed media and it's so cool and I know she has done a couple of masks the same way where she covers them in pictures and she paints them in and creates a whole new world it's so cool I love doing that and <clears throat> I actually would like to do those I have masks so I want to cover or yeah do mi mixed media on a mask for Halloween for YouTube but I'm not sure I can do it if I'm able to pull it off so I'm not sure that was a thought anyway. Yeah. 
and scary stories. Oh, we got a lot of great, nice, creepy, uh, what do you call it? Uh, interesting stories uh, on the Diapathon this weekend. It was really, really fun to listen. Um, and at some point, uh, they were talking about, you know, being open to the, yeah, to ghosts and spirits and, and such. And I wrote, I'm, I'm all open for it, you know, I believe in it, but I've never experienced it. And like, not that I've noticed, like, my sister and my mom, they get that, you know, they move their stuff around and, and they lose something and it, they find it later somewhere strange. And I remember growing up, uh, we spent a lot of time at my grandmother's house, which they said were like an old, what you call that? Oh my God, my English. Where the nuns live? Oh, the monastery, of course. But I don't know. Um, but they, she told us a lot of scary stories. She was not afraid, but she was like, I'm never alone. And my mom told me that when she was married to my dad and she was there in the summer, there was something with the dishes. I don't know if somebody broke the dishes while she was in the kitchen. And I was, she also told us, you know, um, it was an old house, very drafty. It was always cold there. And I remember my mom, yeah, it was cold and drafty. So my grandmother, she had these uh, heavy um, fabric hanging in front of like the bedrooms so it wouldn't get too cold. And I remember that my mom told me that she saw with her own eyes how that fabric, it was like a heavy blanket, just went, how you can say, it was hanging straight down like this, and it went out like, like this from the door out in the air. Now, I was a kid when she told me this story. So for me, I remember it like it stood straight out in the room. But now I'm like, well, maybe it was like a draft. So it just blew a little bit, you know. <laughs> I don't know. And um, yeah, so she didn't have. Yeah, she did have running water, but she had her own well. And the well was built in the kitchen. And since it was an old house, she always had problems with, with the running water, with the pipes. So my dad and the other men in the family had to every now and then climb down in the well and fix the pipes. And this was like a very small round hole. So they had a hard time fitting in there. They were big guys, you know. And my dad was a really big guy. And he told me that once when he was down there working, 
and there were no one of the other guys helping him out because usually they were not, you know, alone when working down in the well. And he told us how he saw and heard the lid of that well. It was like a heavy metal lid starting, you know, pulling over the hole. So he had to hurry up to get out of there. Otherwise, he would have been locked inside the well. Yeah. And... <laughs> you know, I, I never forget those stories. But now when I'm grown up, I also know that my dad, he had a great imagination... And he told us a lot of stories that were not true. So, yeah, I don't know. But they were, there were a lot of scary stories in that house. It was not a place he wanted to be alone in. Nope. So, but uh, I, I cannot remember anything. So I guess I'm not open for it in any, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. The only thing I would like to is actually to, yeah, talk with, talk with the dead or, you know, talk with the ones I've lost. Yeah. Anyhow, that was 27. No, it was not. It was not 27. It was 223. Yeah, so I think this video is long enough. And I'm very mad at this diamond painting. So I'm just going to call it a day. And again... Thank you everyone for subscribing. Thank you for uh, watching. Um, so if you have any comments or questions, please write them down there, you know, leave a comment. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Yeah, not you who ha who's already subscribing, but if you're a new viewer, please subscribe. Because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.